You know, looking at the variety of baits that I've brought up here to catch giant northern pike in northern Ontario, it makes you wonder what people were thinking when they designed them. You've got baits that actually look like real fish, and then you've got baits that you're not exactly sure what they're supposed to emulate in the water. Regardless, they all work. Here are a number of tried and true baits that you need to have in your tackle box when you come on that flying adventure. Let's start with baits that actually look like fish. We've got rattle baits that are divers. These are amazing. So this one is a deep diver. It's a, it's a jointed a jointed rattle bait. And the beautiful thing about these baits is that they are loaded on the inside with rattles. That attracts fish from far and wide. Keeping with baits that do look like fish, we've got swim baits, which are not dissimilar to the rattle baits and the, and the, uh, the deep divers, but these ones are meant to emulate an actual swimming fish. This one's a hard bodied one and this one's a soft bodied one. I recommend keeping both in your box because if pike are turned off by the hard body, they're more likely to grab a hold of a soft body and hold onto it just a little bit longer so that you can set the hook. Let's move over to jerk baits. Jerk baits are a lot of fun. They're very active and they will bring in very aggressive fish. Keep in mind when you choose your jerk bait, not only the color, but the depth that it will dive, the size of the lip that you bring. The bigger the lip, the deeper it'll go. Now, some companies have even gone so far as to create a single jerk bait that has multiple fish actually painted within one. So it looks like a bait ball. So that pike will come and just try to smash it all out. Now, a lot of bass anglers have adapted some of their techniques into pike fishing. All they've done is make it bigger. You know, when you used to fish with those little power grubs for bass and walleye with the jig head? Imagine attaching a one ounce jig head to something like this. Now that is a power grub for sure. Now, moving on to some of the baits that don't really mimic much in the way of what a pike would eat is the spinner baits. You've got spinner baits and you've got inline spinners. Both throw off a ton of vibration and bring fish in from far and wide. What they're supposed to emulate, I have no idea. I like to bring opposites in color and opposites in size. Now you've got white and chartreuse and you've got silver and black. And on the other side, you've got black and orange and you've got chartreuse and silver. Different sizes as the pike will dictate what size they're looking for. You know, when I was a boy, learning to fish, I fished with my grandfather. And my grandfather taught me everything that he knew about fishing for pike, which basically meant that after dinner, every night we would go trolling and we would go trolling with a red devil and a five of diamonds. Well, that was a very long time ago. And these are some of the oldest lures in some people's tackle boxes, but I'm here to tell you, they still produce like none other. So just because it's older technology doesn't mean it doesn't bring in giant fish. So when you're coming to one of these remote fly-in fishing adventure camps, make sure that you have the arsenal that you need just in case that 50-incher comes into your wheelhouse. Stack your tackle box. You'll be glad you did. <laughs>